Yo, what up guys? It's Laura C. Mike back at it again. Out here with a couple more passes on some 3S. We do got an XLX2 in there. All I did was just remove the top cover because there's little stock fans or shit. <laughs> just to get a little more airflow. I'm just, I got some 50 millimeter fans. I'm gonna put a, a link in the description where to get them. Some really nice 50 millimeter fans coming in. I'm gonna test them out. But yeah, we're gonna do some uh, 3S stuff on uh, the XLX2. I have the same 30, 134 mile an hour gearing in it for when I did with the XLX. So I'm curious to see, and I'm using the same battery, same tire, same body. Um, all I did, same motor, same gearing. It's just switched out to XLX2. Uh, my XLX2 is, I'm running six gauge on all my XLX2. So kind of gave me a little bit of advantage there, but uh, let's get it going guys. Let's get it going. Get this stuff plugged in. Sorry, I haven't posted no videos in a while, guys. It's just been uh, been some family issues ever since I burned up an XLX, and that's family issues and financial issues, and took a little bit of a break and had to send these XLX twos in to get tested. So I'm waiting for that, and but yeah, um, we're back now. We are back. I'll show you guys the. GPS right now. I got my body pins real tight. I like them real snug against the foam. So there's no flopping and no sloppiness. That's why it's always so hard to put them on. This XLX2 man is really shocking me. It's really surprising. Uh, it's amazing. We'll do track, start, stop, read, see what zero, track, start, 12 satellites. I also got the, uh, I also got my Garmin, my Garmin 401 in there too, so we'll see how that goes. So we got a car coming this way. So once this car passes, we'll get going. Is horrible. Get her turned around. All right, guys, we got her turned around. Road looks clear. Hubao VTE 3S, China Hobby 6070 Cs, XLX2. She's far.
Come on, man. I'm way down there. There we go, I got her. Got her guys. She was far. Brung her back. I mean, technically I had to go, but I mean, I didn't go get her all the way. Drew off in the dirt. I was checking my fail safe. It's all good though, it didn't do anything. I'm gonna attempt. Uh, I'm getting really good range with this. With this MPSR. I just think it's my area, really. But uh, I'm gonna attempt to put a booster on it. Shouldn't be that hard though. This front piece comes off right here. Gives you access to all in there, so. Give me in. I got all the antennas, the extenders, the adapters. I got a couple boosters. So yeah. I got to visit me longer. I had her. She was too far. Too far. It's like right when I get that little hump right there. And it starts going down right over there. I lose connection. Stop. Read. 134, guys. 134. I'm two. I'm three teeth down. Three teeth down from when I went 134 with the XLX and still went 134. It's amazing. Let's, uh... The fan's not even on on the XLX, too. <laughs> the damn fan is not even on. This thing is amazing. It's so efficient. And it's like... <laughs> and it's like if you were to run a stock, a stock, completely stock, XLX at this kind of what I'm doing, they pop every time. They pop every time. As you guys see, it is an XLX2. Show you the guys the battery. Running 6S, parallel, red to red, black to black. Um, show you guys the batteries. Four wires. Four wires. All right, guys. Peace out. More to come. Let's see what this thing. Let's see what this thing can do. I even took out the. I had a Steve New Motor in there, which is really good. Took that out and put the TP back in there because I want to see what it can do with the XLX2. But uh, let's get it maxed out. Let's see what we can do, guys. Peace out.